that day, for no particular reason, I decided to go for a little run. So I ran to the end of the road. And when I got there, I thought maybe I'd run to the end of town. President Carter, suffering from heat exhaustion, fell into the arms and of when the I got there, I thought maybe I'd just run across Greenbow County. And I figured since I run this far, maybe I'd just run across the great state of Alabama. And that's what I did. I ran clear across Alabama. For no particular reason, I just kept on going. I ran clear to the ocean. And when I got there, I figured since I'd gone this far, I might as well turn around, just keep on going. When I got to another ocean, I figured since I'd gone this far, I might as well just turn back, keep right on going. When I got tired, I slept. When I got hungry, I ate. When I had to go, you know, I went. And so you just ran. Yeah. I'd think a lot about Mama and Bubba and Lieutenant Dane. But most of all, I thought about Jenny. I thought about her a lot. For more than two years now, a man named Forrest Gump, a gardener from Greenbow, Alabama, stopping only to sleep, has been running across America. Charles Cooper brings his history to for the fourth time on his journey across America, Forrest Gump, the gardener from Greenbow, Alabama, is about to cross the Mississippi River again today. I'll be damned. Sir, where Forrest? are you running? Why are you running? Are you doing this for world peace? Are you doing this for the homeless? Are you running for women's rights? Or for the environment? Or for animals? They just well, couldn't believe are. that somebody would do all that running for no particular reason. Why are you doing this? I just felt like running. I just felt like running. I can't believe it's really you. Now, for some reason, what I was doing seemed to make sense to people. I mean, it was like an alarm went off in my head, you know? I said, here's a guy that's got his act together. Here's somebody who's got it all figured out. Here's somebody who has the answer. I'll follow you anywhere, Mr. Gump. So, I got company. And after that, I got more company. And then, even more people joined in. Somebody later told me it gave people hope. Nah. Nah, I don't know anything about that, but some of those people asked me if I could help them out. Hey, man! Hey, listen, I was wondering if you might help me, huh? Listen, I'm in the bumper sticker business, and I've been trying to think up a good slogan, and since you have been such a big inspiration to the people around here, I thought you might be able to help me jump into... Whoa, man! You just ran through a big pile of dog shit! It happens. What, shit? Sometimes. And some years later, I heard that that fella did come up with a bumper sticker slogan, and he made a lot of money off of it. <laughs> Another time, I was running along. Somebody who had lost all his money in the T-shirt business, and he wanted to put my face on a T-shirt, but he couldn't draw that well, and he didn't have a camera. Here, use this one. Nobody likes that color anyway. Uh, have a nice day. Well, some years later, I found out that that man did come up with an idea for a T-shirt. He made a lot of money off of it. Anyway, like I was saying, I had a lot of company. My mom always said, you got to put the past behind you before you can move on. 
and I think that's what my running was all about. I had run for three years, two months, 14 days, and 16 hours. Quiet, he's going to say something. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. And just like that, my running days was over. So I went home to Alabama. Moments ago, 